The Nutcracker in Harlem by T.E. McMorrow, illustrated by James Ransom. It was snowing in Harlem on Christmas Eve. The party at Marie's house swirled with colors, gold and red and green. Mama and Poppy were dancing. Miss Addie sang, and Uncle Cab played the piano. Marie loved the sound of Christmas. Join in, Marie, Uncle Cab called out. Marie looked down. She wished she could sing, but Marie was afraid she wasn't any good. Certainly not like Miss Addie or Uncle Cab. The song ended. It was time for gifts. Every year, Uncle Cab would give Marie a doll and Freddie some toy soldiers. They were carved from a magical wood, Uncle Cab always said. He handed Freddie his gift. And now for my Marie, said Uncle Cab. A nutcracker, said Marie. A drummer boy nutcracker. Dum diddy dum 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 dee dum, played the nutcracker on his drum. Uncle Cab sang a tune to the beat of the little drummer. The room again filled with song. Everyone in the house was singing or dancing. Everyone except Marie. Miss Addie knelt next to Marie. Will you sing with me, Marie? She asked. Marie shook her head. Maybe next time, Miss Addie said. Music lives inside everyone. You just have to let it out. After dinner, Marie took the nutcracker and a slice of sweet potato pie and sat by the Christmas tree. The lights were soft and twinkling. She lay down, closed her eyes, and fell asleep. Marie opened her eyes. The house had gone silent. Outside, it had stopped snowing. A full moon glowed in the sky, and the living room was filled with a ghostly white light. A rustling sound came from the top of the tree where Mama had hung her favorite ornaments, the glass birds. It was almost as if the blue glass bird was moving. It was! The bird fluttered its wings and began to sing. Then the gold bird joined in, and the red one, and the green one too. As the bird sang, the Christmas tree began to grow. It grew bigger and bigger until it towered over Marie, the ornaments, the presents, the dolls, and the soldiers, too. Dum-diddy, dum-dum, dum-dee-dum. The nutcracker played his drum. The toy soldiers and dolls danced around the tree as the birds sang on. Crash! The music stopped. Candy canes! A voice squeaked. Marie turned. A mouse army, all in uniforms, was marching toward the tree. A mouse general was leading them, his chest covered with shiny medals. Candy canes, he repeated. Marzipan and chocolate. Charge! The nutcracker began to drum. Dum diddy dum. The toy soldiers lined up behind him. They marched toward the mouse army. One mouse turned and ran away. The entire army followed, all except the general. I want sweet potato pie, the general shouted. He ran, jumped, and knocked the nutcracker down. The drum fell to the ground. When the drumming stopped, so did the toy soldiers. The mouse army advanced again. Charge, the mouse general commanded. What could Marie do? She picked up the drum and put the strap over her neck. dum diddy dum The mouse army stopped, turned, and ran away. The general glared, but Marie kept drumming until he, too, fled. As the mice ran, they began to shrink, getting smaller and smaller. The toy soldiers chased the mice through a hole in the wall and into the snow outside. The glass birds sang as the soldiers returned. Marie joined the nutcracker in a dance. They swirled around and around. They seemed to be on a cloud. It started to snow, but it wasn't cold. Marie closed her eyes and began to sing. Marie? She opened her eyes. It was morning. Did I miss Christmas? Marie asked. Of course not, darling, Mama said. Under the tree were Marie's dolls, the nutcracker, and something else. A drum. She picked up the drumsticks. Dum diddy dum 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 dee dum. Very good, said Uncle Cab. 
he began to sing a Christmas song. Mama and Poppy and Miss Addie all joined in. And so did Marie. <laughs> 